when you get given an enormous, incredible opportunity, but you're like not sure exactly if you could do it. But you know, they wouldn't have asked if they didn't think you could. What do you do? Someone just sent me a message to ask, how did you do timeline therapy in a group? Did you do the intervention in a group or did you just take one volunteer out and did a one-on-one -on -one in front of the entire group? I'm like, no, I did the whole group. I removed a negative emotion to the entire group all at once. Is it possible? Yes, because it happened. <laughs> so the question was, how did you do it? The how is very simple. The how is to have 100% certainty when you do it. The moment you are presenting, the moment you are a speaker, the moment you are standing in front of an audience is to be in the moment and deliver. Knowing there is no other choice but that outcome. So what, what actually goes on in my head then? when it comes to this type of situation, because let's face it, all of us at times gets given incredible opportunity, but that opportunity is a, such a small window. It's like those sliding door moments, right? That moment comes, do you say yes or do you say no? Yes, you freak out. No, you were regretting. So you want to say yes, but you're unsure if you can actually do it. Let me give you another example. When Lisa Bilyeu, who is a <laughs> co-founder of a billion dollar company, I was reading her book called Radical Confidence in my book club. So this book here, Someone from her team asked, hey, Lisa heard about your book club. She can pop in on this date, which was three days away. Three days. And in my head, I'm thinking, how do I pull off an event in three days? Lisa, feel you coming in. So in my head, I was screaming, Oh shit! Say, say yes, just fucking say yes. And I'm here looking at the text message, about to write back and go, shit, holy shit, I'm scared. I don't know why, how am I going to do this, but holy shit, uh, yes, yes, I'll figure this out, right? That's what I was thinking about typing. But then here's the thing, if I type that, if I typed all the crazy screaming battles in my head what message do you think that other person is going to receive yeah uh, is this going to be good can she pull this off right because there's doubt elements in there if i send that right so i deleted all of that and i just wrote heck yes come in right the person just needs a 100% certainty answer. After I sent it, of course, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, shit, fuck, right? But the thing is that, yes, it is going, oh, my God, what? The very next moment is, future comes to figure it out, right? Just say yes and figure out the how later. Yes, the later, there's not a lot of time, but as soon as you make a decision, your brain and whatever else <laughs> will work with you to get to the outcome that you said yes, because nobody wants to look like a fool. Nobody wants to not be able to uphold who they are. Nobody wants to go against their own word. Nobody wants to show up and fail, right? Because of all of this thing that's wrapped up 
in your identity of who you are, you will deliver. You will deliver. So, the key here is to trust yourself that when you say yes, you will deliver. 